We're here at the Consumer Electronics Show where cameras and camcorders are an important category. I'm going to be talking to Terry Sullivan back in our Yonkers headquarters about the newest, the biggest developments at the show, some of the highlights, maybe some of the disappointments in the news that we heard. Terry, I would say one of the things here that was most important or most prominent in cameras didn't have to do with cameras per se, it had to do with the fact that smartphones got better, bigger uh, cameras with more megapixels and so on. But I also think one of the trends that was important was some of that functionality, notably sharing, going over to some cameras and camcorders, right? I mean, we saw more ability to share, I think, in, in more devices in the cameras and camcorders area. Absolutely, it's been groundbreaking in the digital imaging space with cameras and camcorders, uh, more than I've ever seen in the past, where cameras and camcorders traditionally had not been connected devices. Now we were seeing a lot more uh, uh, from Sony, uh, Samsung, and others. Uh, I particularly was intrigued by a cheap camcorder, the Sony uh, Bloggy Live, which um, has a live streaming capability to it. It was really fascinating. You could live stream your video. For the most part, it, it worked. It probably was the best wireless device I've ever tested. It worked uh, quickly and easily. There were still some glitches in terms of you have to have to make sure your browser is the latest browser, the flash plugin is the latest plugin, and that your wireless hub is able to handle the streaming. But uh, for the most part, once I got it working, it really worked very well, and I was uh, really intrigued by it. Another big trend, I think, at the show, and in cameras, period, was uh, more over, more models in the uh, so-called four-thirds area, the, uh, the smaller models with interchangeable lenses. You want to talk about what came up at the show that you thought was interesting in that regard? Right. Well, Canon has been the one biggest holdout in not doing one um, since Nikon came out with two in the fall. Everyone is waiting and saying, well, Canon, what do you got for us? Well, we got halfway there this time with uh, the PowerShot G1X has a big sensor, which means really good image quality, even in low light, but that camera doesn't have interchangeable lenses yet. So we're halfway there in terms of having a big sensor, but not interchangeable lenses, which is really key. But Fujifilm came out with one. The X-Pro1 uh, digital camera is a uh, interchangeable lens advanced camera, uh, a mirrorless uh, camera. So uh, we're really excited to see what they're going to come out with that model. Terry, thanks a lot for the information. Thanks for uh, monitoring the show for us. I'm Paul Reynolds here in Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show for Consumer Reports.